because I have not felt so lost in academics in a very long time and it's something that I do not like feeling but I need to freaking get to it but so far I just wanted to phone myself accountable of the progress if there will be any um, to show you what I'm trying to achieve today so I'm trying to complete my plumbing homework it's kind of hard to understand on the actual plans that we received in this 11 by 17 or 11 by 24 inch paper kind of like this <laughs> and I copy this on my notebook horizontally because I want to if we have to turn this in because this is our homework I want to be able to um, review it later if we don't receive it right away back so anyway so I copied the plan I have here so we have a battery I, I think that's what, we, what it's called like a ba battery of a bunch of fixtures and it's a combination of janitor sinks or just one janitor sink two kitchen sinks two floor drains and like six or seven oh maybe should i count it right now one two three four five six seven seven water closets or toilets and then one two three four four lavies oh four five six six laboratories or sinks or bathroom sinks and then one two three kitchen sinks i believe well there's another lobby right here okay so what i have to do is make a circle and a square underneath it the circle represents the trap size or the pipe size because i'm not just writing down the size of the trap but i'm also writing down the size of the drain the the drain pipe and then from the top of the stem or from the top of the branch we are going to add up the drainage fixture unit which is something that most of the clients most of the clients most of the students in my school in my class have already learned and so <sighs> I have to catch up and I read the section talking about DFU's drainage fixture unit values for um, certain certain uh, fixtures like so it's in chapter 7 of the code and it is table 702.1 so you have a list of a bunch of fixtures and the minimum trap size private which is going to be for residential or like for homes and then public is going to be like for a commercial building and then assembly is specifically for like a huge commercial building like the staple center or uh what else is there what other stadiums do i know i'm not a sports person uh the mariner stadium is that still what it's called i think it was still it was called something else wamu theater <laughs> i don't know it's been a while since i've been to washington I started reading from section 702.1 Fic uh, Fixture unit equivalent Point 0.1 is trap, trap size Re Read through the footnotes The illustrated manual has in blue the explanation of the footnotes But it's not a instructional manual It's more uh, informative <sighs> So I'm really struggling to figure out how this works <sighs> and then 703.2 that table has the maximum unit loading and maximum length of drainage and vent piping and multiple footnotes here um i kind of went over that with the instructor on friday but yeah i am feeling really nervous because i feel like i'm not gonna be able to understand this on my own Ugh, let's do a monday i'm scared let's try to figure this ish out and <sighs> wish me luck
finish my food. And I'm gonna go to the library, but I really wanna memorize this table. So I'm gonna go, I've been studying it while I was eating. Sometimes you just kinda have to do that. But anyway, I'm gonna go down the list and figure out if I can figure it out without looking. I kinda looked over here already, but you gotta go from the bottom. Okay, water closet greater than 1.6 gallons per flush. I believe everything is three inches minimum trap size and trap arm. Yeah. Um, urinal with an exposed trap could be a minimum trap size of one and a half. Integral trap, these two, um, greater or less than one gallons per mint per flush is Two? No. Fuck. Oh wait, I did say that. Two. Yay! Okay, exposed trap is one and a half minimum trap. Okay, so now we're going to sinks. Let's go from here down. Actually, I gotta go from this way. Okay. Oh, a hybrid urinal too, I think. Okay. Wash each set of false sets. A wash sink. Two? Oh, it doesn't have a minimum. That's right. Okay, I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Fuck. Uh, service sink with a flushing rim. I think um, it is one and a half, two, and two. No, two, three, three, fuck. Okay, laundry is one and a half. Uh -oh. Okay, so I'm back. And I have kind of traced out my copy of the plans in green and written out everything that I could kind of understand. And I think I'm kind of getting the hang of counting everything from the top of the the stack branch. Is branch even something that they say in plumbing? Because when I saw stack and battery, the first word that came to, out of my mouth when I'm trying to describe these things was branch. But you know what I mean. So as you go down the horizontal pipe or the, down the pipes to the sewer line you count the the dfcus you count as you go down but if like another line connects to the main line that line that might be un like a below the level of the top like in this case the kitchen sink to the level underneath actually I need to disclose and say that this plan is all on the first floor it doesn't go to the second floor the DFCUs do not add up. Like it starts again at the end of that branch, even though it's kind of like a lower or like a different part of the floor. I, get, I hope that makes sense. But that's how I'm understanding it. And I think that's correct. The assignment is not only just to put the pipe size and in square put the DFU, but also draw out where the clean out will be. And one clean out is given, it's a circle with the line in the middle. So that is already on the plan. And then every end of the terminal has to, like every north end of the terminal has to have a clean out. So I drew that out and hopefully this is correct. If you are watching this video as a source of correct information, please do not take this video as an instructional tool because i have i don't know if this is correct and i think in a later video i will show the correct answers but i just kind of want to show my progress so here we are. i wrote down everything that i had come up with on my this right and i wrote it on the plan that was given to me in class that i need to actually turn in tomorrow and i'm after I finished everything, I was like, okay, great. It's not too late. I still have some time to make dinner, whatever. And then I was like, well, you know what? Let me look over the table again, make sure I memorize everything, make sure I, you know, understand it, try more, try another attempt to memorize the DFUs. And I just realized that a water closet is going to be four DFUs. Even if it was it could be three but in any or it could be if it was pulling greater than 1.6 gallons per flush it could even be six 
so is it four or six i don't know but it's definitely not three which is what i've been writing so i need to oh, i need to redo this again anyway yeah so i changed everything and i ended up with 61 which the max for horizontal piping horizontal drainage is 200 oh no 216 dfus so i'm good i think i hope this is right who knows my aloe vera plant broke but i'm gonna use this to hold this line right here out of the frame so i wanted to come back on here and just say that i have gone back to class we didn't turn it in yet because it just um there was just a lot of people that had not done the homework and he wasn't very clear on all of the specifications so next time we meet we will have our pipe sizes and both the vertical pipe and the horizontal pipe size because i'm missing a lot of the vertical um indications indications definitions notations for lack of space and also due to the fact that i didn't think that it would change significantly or change every time or change at all so i need to do that and in the next video i don't know if it's just immediately after this one but i'm definitely going to update you on what i've learned and what i figured out because at that same day that i filmed the first part of this video i was like filming it kind of going through it felt pretty confident about what i had what i had come up with and then i realized oh but if it's a commercial building um I'm sure toilets still use more than 1.6 gallons per flush. So I have to actually use 6 DFUs, not 3, or not 4 DFUs for these toilets. But I asked the instructor and he said, ever since so many years ago, they've already made into regulation that water closets will only use 1.6 gallons per flush. And that's like for a commercial, I think. I think it's for the uniform plumbing code, it's that, but most water closets, especially with residential, only pull 1.28 gallons per flush. So regardless, it was not six that I changed last minute. I should have just left it at four, which I had before. So anyway, I'm learning a lot. I will correct myself. Thank you so much for watching. Again. I don't know if these answers are correct. I kind of overheard my classmates when I was on, uh, in class and they said that the total DFUs that they get as they go down the, the battery, down the branch, they were saying it was like 41, 42. And after I had fixed everything, I think I was at 45. And there's one thing on the drawing that the person that drew it forgot to draw the drain lines, but it was for a lobby. So it would only add one DFU anyway. So it should be 41 or 42. And I got 45 and I kept counting it. So I still don't know how they got all that. It might be changed tonight, but I have a furniture assembly job today and I'm going to review it when I get home. Thanks for walking. Bye.